Hello everybody. Today we're going to be doing a little uh, tutorial video on how to install uh, my prefab trains onto your map. Uh, so I got my map folder here. And so we're going to go into the placeables train system is where I have mine. Now your map might be different, but this is based on this. If your uh, train system is in a different location, you will have to uh, change the file paths and such, but this is based on kind of this standardized file system. Um, so we're going to come in here into the prefab. Again, navigate to the same spot. Now I have over here, I have my uh, uh, train system. Uh, this is the one from the map open. I also have all the uh, sample files. I guess that one I don't really need the prefab disk, but I do have the two sample files open just to copy and paste things from. Uh, that's just an extra placeables I don't need. And then we also have the uh, mod desk for the map open here. Um, well, first, let's get some files moved over. So for this map, we're going to be using the green hopper. We'll probably use all the textures because there's really or uh, I remember how I did this now yes so yeah the for the green hoppers that if you're using one you might as well take them all because they all use the same amount of space branch and the XML files take up virtually no space so we'll copy those into our map folder there and we can I like to have a little bit of variety so we'll do it that way uh, then we need the locomotive i3d and its base textures. Then also, I uh, will do the CP one to lead and CPKC as the second unit. I think is what we'll do for now. We will put those in here as well. Now, obviously, when I submit the map to Giants for all platforms, I'll switch these out for the. Uh, back here to the all platforms textures I'll drop those in there instead because obviously we can't now these are kind of funny if you haven't seen them everything's all been changed to lizard which I found I cracked up a lot while doing it um yeah so if you are doing an all platforms map you definitely want to use those textures instead um, but yeah we should have everything in here we need now now we come over to the, uh, we'll do the mod desk first. So we need the, all of the green hopper store items. And those will get put into our mod desk in the store item section. And then I also have, I'll just do this and then take the ones out I don't need. Those are the ones we went with for that. Go into the train system sample. Now, no, I see. We'll just do this. We'll replace the giant's locomotive. This one should be just DP. Then for the train cars, I decided I went and found just a place to randomizer. And let's see if it worked properly. Yes, it did. Yeah, I just got this randomizer that should put all of the train cars in a random order. Uh, but you can do whatever you want there. I did this just because I was I'm curious to see what it turns out as, but I thought that would be interesting way to do it is having it be completely random, not even you know, trying to control it myself. So uh, that should really be all there is to installing it. We will boot up the map now and just confirm that everything works. Yeah, I didn't actually try this before. I just figured this is how it should work. So I figured I'd record it because I know some people had asked how to do it. So I figured I'd record while I'm setting it up on my map here. Interesting, my audio wasn't coming through my headphones. Uh, no, 
Just Greek. I have to adjust my audio here. There we go. I just plugged in the mic and everything to record this video, so then it wasn't quite set up. Audio and everything. And we should be able to clear that one's uh, just changed it on the map. But we'll do this, and it's going to take a little bit for the train to arrive here. Um, but while we wait, also stand here so when it arrives we can make sure the crossing gates still work because I'm not exactly confirm the function of them but we're standing here in the side of the town kind of here just waiting for the train to arrive it'll be coming from this direction and there's no map border out there too so that'll be Part of why it uh... oh, that's an interesting warning. I might have to look at that for uh, consoles when I get that far. I just want to change this for. I don't know, we'll leave that up for now. Here, just working on getting the railroad set up today, and then it's kind of in my uh, project this weekend getting this all laid out all the rails and everything. There'll still be a little bit of detailing to go on around here and everything, but and I'll show you later. We got a new bridge as well in the map, but how close are we getting now? Closer. Yeah, well, once it pops up here, we'll take it for a run across the map. There it is. Maybe stop at the new bridge and take a screenshot of it over there. Also, I'll turn on flight mode for when we get that far. Okay, good. Crossings seem to work, so that's good. So yeah, as you can see, we have our locomotive there. We've got our trailing locomotive. Looks like I maybe need to lift my train spline up a bit. Things are clipping in the rails, but that's not... The default base game train was doing that as well when I was testing with it before this. Yeah. It does appear too that the uh, there still is some good stuttering going on with the train too, but that's just a game issue. Even the base game train was doing that before in my testing. So yeah, here's the uh, new bridge I made a little bit ago. I'll take a, a thumbnail here for the video. Actually, let's do a quick flyback, see how long this train is. So yeah, you can see the... I think the randomness worked out pretty well. Oh, there's a co-op. Oh, the train is quite long. 
I mean, it's good. I might shorten it a bit, but anyway. And that's the gist of it anyway for the video. I might shorten it some because that is stretching basically halfway across the map. We get a little annoying when that's constantly, uh, you know, stopping you from doing things, blocking you off and such, so. We might change that yet. Yeah, that's all there is to adding it. It's really quite simple to do. Uh -um. So if you want to add it to any maps for yourself to use. Uh, obviously, you gotta pick whichever railroad you want. You can do like I did, kind of a blend of the two, even though they have kind of the same. Um, yeah. Yeah, my splines work quite nice on this gentle curve. Let's see, I probably can't stop before the edge of the map. Oh, maybe I can actually. Let me get one more screenshot. Let's do that. But yeah, we will send it off the map, and uh, we'll send you off to whatever you're doing next. I'm assuming, likely adding. Uh, train to your map or whatever you want to do with it, this knowledge. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.